a fork, a bucket fork for a backhoe, front end loader. This one is for a Kubota B2920, but it'll work on pretty much any bucket. Um, this started off as a piece of 2x4, uh, 8 foot length, quarter inch wall. Pretty heavy duty stuff. Uh, you probably get away with 3 sixteenths. Um, basically, that's a 14 inch piece there from left to right. A 12 inch piece top to bottom. And then I have two of the, uh, the basically um, bolts for like the bottom of a, a work table, like a steel table. Um, to level it off, like they, they pivot side to side, left to right, front to back, whatever. Um, I also have a piece of 3 8 inch flat stock, one inch wide, uh, just to make up for the, the gap right here. A step in the bucket so that when it's at the back, basically the, the piece is level. Um... When you're cutting this, the overall uh, length of the piece is four feet inches long. From here to here, and when I cut it, I, I left a notch right here so that the piece of plate fit flush with the rest of the steel. So like there's a little cut here, and then do your 70 degree angle, nice slope to it. Um, that's what I use. It's a Milwaukee bandsaw table. Here's the items unassembled. Here's the 14 inch, a 12 inch, a piece of four by six flat plate. And uh, like I was saying before, you have that, see how it has a notch? And then it goes down to the angle. So that this plate fits nice and flat. You got, um, these bolts, they're six inch long. It's like a two and three quarter footprint, two and three quarter round. The number from Granger is one four N Y eight Y E eight. Sorry, um, you probably cross reference it. I'm sure they have them on Amazon for cheaper. But uh, let's weld this on first. Take it from there. Alright, so that's done. Not the best welder in the world, but I get it done. By the way, I'm using a 6013 rod, 332nd. I got the welder on about 100 amps. Uh, so that flat plate is on. The next step is to go, uh, we're going to go in. Where the hell is the tape measure? We're going to come in a foot and put uh, the edge of the, I'm sorry, the middle of the 14 inch piece there standing up and weld that in place. All right. I stand corrected. It's, we're going to put it at 12 inches to the edge of it. Uh, so I'll make sure you clean it up real nice. Uh, it's 6013, it's pretty good with the rust and the mill scale and all that shit, but it just doesn't take that long to brighten it up a little bit, get all that crap off. Alright, so that's basically what it's going to look like. So, like I said, 12 inches from here to here just to allow enough space for the leverage that you're going to be putting on that bucket you want a good bite on the inside of that bucket you don't want to just be using like the, the front edge of the bucket you want this thing underneath the whole thing because otherwise you just you might bend it you might bend the actual steel of the bucket itself so you want a good bite underneath that thing all right so next we're actually going to drill a couple of holes in this guy for these two, I'm doing the, the front one is going to be uh, three and a half, 
and then the back one's going to be three inches into the center. I'll show you that. All right, so this is the what I'm using to drill this. I'm sure a lot of you out there don't have a magnetic drill, but uh, a hole saw would work just fine. Drill it out since these bolts are uh, five eighths threads. Drill it out to five eight or eleven sixteenths. This is an 11 16 fix, I didn't have a 5 8, so it allows for a little bit of slop. And the reason that I'm doing the three and a half in the front is because of the lip that I have on the bucket. So now it's on an angle here, but the flat starts right about here, and this is about an inch and a quarter, so that I grab a full pad on the bucket when I put the actual fork in. So that's why I'm doing three and a half in the front. Let's show you that. So you see how now the pad is on complete flat steel. So that's why I'm doing a three and a half. step is to insert your bolts, your leveling bolts, whatever you want to call them, and snug the nut up and weld the nut to the steel. This is an important step because if you don't do this now, if you weld this on first, you won't get those bolts in there. So this is next, weld the nuts on, and then we're going to clean off the steel and we're going to make this about two and a half inches from the top of the 2 by to the bottom of this 2 by It's going to be two and a half inches. Allow room for that bucket to get in there. Or to get this on the bucket rather. Alright, so here you go. Um, that's the three and a half inch side. Right here. So basically what I did is and I'll weld one side here, one side of the nut, one flat, and the other flat on the other side. We don't need to kill it. It's not going anywhere. Um, basically, just left about a half inch of thread sticking out the top of the nut, and that's the, the height that I'm going with. And it'll leave me enough room for um, half a, or a 5 8 nut on top of that. Same here. And plenty of room to get it over the bucket. Uh, once uh, once they're up, you know, fully threaded up into the the top position. 
Um, basically what I'm going to do is probably going to get a 5.8 nut and drill through it and then just throw a roll pin in there and then cut the sides of the roll pin so I can use like a 15-16 a socket and just tighten them down with the socket. Uh, or you can just take a nut and then weld a piece of uh, flat stock or bar or whatever onto the nut. Do it that way also. But however you want to do it. But I'm going to use the 15-16 socket to tighten it up. But for right now, we're going to do the final step and just weld it onto the, uh, the piece of 14-inch. Alright, let's do that. And I screwed up and I forgot a step. The step I forgot was to weld this guy on there. The flat stock I was telling you about to make up the distance in the bucket, the, the front lip. So, but anyway, we got this guy on there. Two bolts. This is nice and sturdy. Friggin' thing ain't going anywhere. I'm just gonna run a couple beads on this guy. And uh, we'll throw it on the bucket and see what it does. There we go. The set is now complete. Try and lift something.